Wow, it's been an entire year since my last upload. Did you guys miss me? In my previous video about tweeting models, I only talked about tweeting position, not about tweeting size. Tweeting the size of a model is very similar and just as easy. I'm going to be going a little bit quick in this video, so if you're confused about anything, go check out the other one that I did. Okay, I have this model here that I want to tween. I'm going to be using just a regular script. You can use any script. If you are using a local script, you might have to add a weight. Sometimes it takes a little bit to load the model in. Let's create a variable for our model. And then let's create a variable for a number value. Very important, make sure this is a number value, not an integer value. If it's an integer value, that means that there can't be any decimals in the numbers. So it'll be a very choppy tween up into the size that you want. Let's set the number values value to one. I'll explain why you're setting it to one in a second. And then let's also connect a changed event to this. Make sure you add in the value and the parameters. And then in here, we want to do model scale to and then put in the value. Scale to multiplies the model's original size by whatever number is in here. So if I set this to 10, it would multiply it by 10 times its original size. 0.5 would be half of its original size. Uh, 100 would be 100 times its original size. And that's where we have the initial value of the number value set to 1. Anything by 1 is just itself, so this is the original scale of the model. You replace this with a value. Okay, now we can start tweening. So create a reference to tween service. Create a tween. Model as the instance. You can fill out the tween info with whatever you want. I'm just going to leave it as default. My bad. Make sure this is number value. So you want to set the value of the number value to however many times larger you want the model to be. I want it five times larger. Sure. Okay. Then after that, make sure you play the tween. If we run now, it should work. There you go. Okay, I joined a little bit late, but it was playing through. I'm going to add a little bit of a wait so you can see that better. Okay, should wait four seconds. That should start to go up. There you go. Now, what if I want this model to grow exactly 20 studs up? It's a little bit more complicated, but it's still possible. So first, what you have to do is get the extents of the model. And this basically means just the dimensions of it. So how wide it is, how long it is, and how tall it is. For some reason, it's not in the properties window, so you have to print it out. Print model get extents size. And then run the game. Now, I wanted the height of the model to be 20. This involves a little bit of math, so you might need your calculator. You take the number that you want it to be, so in my case it's 20, and then divide it by the number that it currently is. Um, that's a really ugly number. I'm going to do 5.2. And then whatever the answer is for this, you want to plug into the value. Now, the answer is this really complicated number. <laughs> so again, 5.2 times whatever this number is, is 20. And we can check this if we add a print to the end and print out its dimensions. Model get accent size. Just like that. There you go, 20, and then some. That's because the number before was a little bit off. That is it for this tutorial. If there's anything else you want me to code, leave it below in the comments. It's been a year since my last upload. I'm trying to get back into it again. And that is it. Bye bye.